I don't know, babe. This thing just keeps getting grayer and grayer. Oh, so, so does this here. Oh, eggs. So, yes, I you got eggs. eggs. I got eggs. Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And this is the Going Batty channel. We are so glad you're here, and we're going to do a little vlog in today. So, why don't you come on with us? So, this has been one of the greatest egg baskets I think that we have ever bought. Um, love it. We take it out to the coop. It makes it nice and easy. But this is awesome. Our chickens have got back into laying eggs. There was a season where they weren't laying a single thing. And we are just having a ton of I just gave a dozen of these away yesterday. It's better, we feel, to have too many eggs than, than not, not enough. enough. So. And I eat eggs. We use a lot of eggs in our baking. But, boy, the chickens sometimes, they just yeah. they stop laying. And they didn't do it this time. Look at those beautiful eggs. Yeah. All right. So, remember, brooding chickens does not have to be expensive. We have two setups just like this one where we took a large storage container and we just retrofitted it. We got a heat lamp and it fell and melted this, but we caught it in time so it's still safe. All we did was retrofit the storage tank to have a lot. Chickies. Chickies. And you guys saw them when they were little. Now they're in that awkward teenager phase where they're like kind of cute but kind of weird looking they're feathering out as they're they say. feathering out yes and these are two isa browns mm -hmm. and uh they're not technically ours they're technically ma uh our son max's yeah max decided yeah to get these see look at their look at their neck feathers they're just so weird looking <laughs> here are my napa cabbage plants and they're doing they're doing relatively good i had a day where i wasn't feeling real great and I forgot to water them, <laughs> so they were all wilty. But I'll kind of move this back so you can see. But there they are. And what we've done, you can see that they've already gotten their second set of leaves and they're getting ready to sprout a third set. But we have put, oops, hold on, there we go. We've put a fan on them because here our winds can be pretty high and this kind of helps with that hardening process so that their stems here, sorry, let's see them. The stems start to get a little more strength to them. They're not, they're not as, um, they're not as delicate as or the word. Or leggy or weak or Yeah, stuff. and so, and you see, I have my lights like super duper close. That's because you really only need about an inch above um, to keep, you know, so they don't get leggy. But yeah, so those are my, those are my Napa cabbage plants. Probably the next ones I'm going to go for are my cucumbers, tomatoes, and peppers. Got our chickens. We let them out before kind of the plants come just so they can experience the yard. Sunning yourself here. She's sunning herself. Those two over there are dirt bathing. Well, three. There's a white one behind the rest of them there and then the guy these guys are just wandering the yard and I hear our cat behind me but this is right now this is our setup for our garden now I have two more beds coming that will go where this silver one is and then kind of down there I have them far enough apart that we can get a lawnmower through it but frankly we don't grow a lot of grass here <laughs> it's really hard <laughs> Um, but I've, I'm moving to these, hold on a second. Hey, Miss Thing, what are you doing? She's, she's happy to be out in the warm weather too. It's actually almost 60 degrees today, so, which is good. But these, these brighter, uh, ones here, those are just regular garden beds. The ones behind Kevin here, those are the ones that have, um, like a, four foot greenhouse on him. So I'm going to try to experiment with extending my crop season because we have like at the most a 90 day growing season here. And I thought if I had those, I could maybe extend it out. So we're looking at, um, I'll, you've seen my garden plan, but as the garden comes together, I'll show you more of it. But uh, this, we've got this smaller melon bud here and this one here, and we're going to move those after the other ones come in and place them. But most of my backyard is probably going to be for growing food. 
All right, so funny story. When we first had chickens and I saw our chickens doing this, I thought there was something wrong with them and they were having seizures. <laughs> But they're not, they're dirt bathing. It helps with uh, mites and poultry lice and stuff like that. So, and then the two big barred rocks, they're just sunning themselves. They're enjoying the warm weather here. Now, I will have to go out and buy more feed in, in maybe a couple of days, but this will last. This will, When they're not out in the yard, catching bugs, eating plants, they're in here, this is their primary food source, so you go through a lot, you go through a lot more feed in the winter time, a lot more feed. But since the nice weather's coming, we're gonna let them out a little bit more. One of the reasons why I did not let them out a whole lot is because they forgot where to lay eggs. <laughs> they weren't laying them in the nasty box, they were laying them every place else. <laughs> they, and they laid them all over the coop, they laid them all out in the yard. So what we did was we took probably two months of winter and kept them in their run and in here, and and they started to go back to, hey, I need to, I wanna, I wanna, or I'm gonna lay my eggs in there. Yeah, so those are our nesting boxes right there. Yeah, so it seems to be working. Hi there, the chicken. petting the chickens. So we got Lois out a little bit, getting her aired out, making sure that she's, she's got some things that are just, it, you know simple to take care of but we uh these propane tanks are doing really well this one's empty this one's full um i was surprised at how long these two tanks take in our context we don't have a heater that requires propane all we have is a stove and an oven to cook propane with definitely the way to go so this window was a disaster uh we originally had it uh with the uh with a, a, a frosted glass window in it and it was cracked and it was falling out. And we had basically on the inside had to replace the majority of this side of the wall because it had rotted. And so when we went to do redo this, I said, I, I knew I couldn't afford an actual like replacement window. And so what we did is we put some plexiglass in there. Uh, I squirted some uh, silicone around the edges and I put the cedar up and uh, We'll see by the end of the summer how it weathers. So the stabilizer jacks were uh, a, a, an experiment because I didn't know how big to get and I didn't know how to put them on. And so my son Miles and I put those on last summer and they've been doing a great job of keeping the trailer from swaying when we're inside of it working on it. We spent most of the winter doing some uh, changes in here and this these were came in very handy. Um, they're probably overkill for this trailer they probably are a little bigger than what we need on this one, but I like the stability. I'm a big guy, and when I get to roll in, in the camper, I want to feel like it's not rolling anywhere. One thing we did last year, we got five brand new tires. Um, the tires had had dry rot on them, and in the weather, um, it, even new tires can get dry rot when you uh, leave them uncovered in the wintertime. So that's one thing I'll be watching out for because I don't put covers on them yet. I probably should, but... Uh, to protect your tires for winter time, you really should probably armor all them and then put covers on them so they don't get that dry rot. So in some of our earlier videos about the camper, uh, we had this L-shaped bench and it didn't really work for us. Yeah, we needed more counter space. Yeah, I'll, I'll get up and show you. Please excuse the mess we have been working in here, but we got that kind of cover because you can take it off and wash it. Yeah. So we're probably going to be doing that today. And the bed is stuff. thicker, you know. It's yeah, thick. it's uh, th six inches thick, maybe. Yeah. So well, and it's versatile, too. If we ever wanted to, we could pull that out. Um, but we really felt, I felt like I needed a desk area here um, and extended, extended countertop. Mm -hmm. And so that's how, what we did is we took the old table from the other side, uh, from where the kitchenette is over here. Yeah. And so, the, turn, yeah, the table used to, if you yeah. see the, the holes, holes in the floor, floor, that's where it used to be. That's and it doesn't it work here because you don't have any room to walk. <laughs> yeah. And you guys saw the kitchen, the cushion video that yeah, we went through. So, this is the cover that we found for the cushion. It's a giant 72-inch long body pillow case. <laughs> yeah. And um, it, it's okay. It, it's not a thick material. It is a pillowcase material. Mm -hmm. But the thing we liked about it is it had a zipper on it. Yeah. So that was a good idea because we don't want it to be 
uh, we don't want it to be something we can't get off in a wash. We, we needed to do free refrigeration and we're still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I did is we had this space here where there were three doors and we weren't using it. And so it was I, the it was kind of like the junk drawer. It, it just collected a whole bunch of crap. Yeah, and so what we did is or what I did was I cut those out and created a shelf for us to put one of those coolers that you can plug into a 12 volt outlet and it turn it's a refrigerator but it looks like a cooler. It'll fit in here really well. It takes up a lot less battery power. Um this is a door that flips down so that you can access underneath. Um, we will have some sort of uh, battery like uh, a power station like a Jackery or something to power that um, and then over here we had uh, a, reg a refrigerator that failed and so this is how we're utilizing this area uh, built a door out of cedar and we're that's a that's a cute little bathroom latch but I think we'll get a better one but it works for now um, and in here we have the microwave uh, we're going to have a uh, air fryer slash toaster oven slash whatever else we feel like getting. And then storage underneath. Because one thing I do know is the pantry is not huge here. Um, it's these up, uh, these drawers up here and we could use a little more space. And so this will become kind of a pantry area with little baskets in it. Mm -hmm. And I just think that that's going to work really well for us. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Uh, that we haven't done yet. Um, we've got to winter winterize the toilet unwinterize the toilet, I should say. And we've got to finish working on the sink. Um, this is gonna have a, a sink right here that ties into the plumbing right underneath. And this will be uh, where we can brush our teeth and get extra water or whatever. But uh, the majority of this down here is gonna be shelves. It's just not finished yet because uh, I haven't decided what I wanna do for a sink yet. Do I want big? Do I want small? Do I want creative? I don't know. So, this has been really cool. We we bought this solo stove last year and we really bought it so we could have an area around here to kind of hang out during the summertime, during the spring, have some have some ambiance. But uh, this is really for camping in places where you can't have an open fire. Which um, is all of Wyoming. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. Quite honestly, that's true. We um, are very dry here, so we couldn't we we have been told in certain places we can use this, but in certain places we cannot use this. So we just leave it here because this is the best place. It's a safe padded area and uh, it's got this little mesh roof. So less uh, sparks come out of it, less uh, embers, embers come out of it. But uh, the cool thing about this is it doesn't take a whole lot of firewood to get going. And it makes a really good fun fire to to do roast marshmallows on, but uh, cook or here, and this is something I've never heard of before till we moved here. They roast Starburst. Oh yeah, which weird. is weird <laughs> to me, but my kids have learned to love it. Yeah, it's something that I'm not a big Starburst fan, so that's all them. Yeah, that's not me. But this solo stove has been really good. It's held up well. It sat out here for most of the winter. It has a little cover in there that we put on top of it. But it has been a really cool little fire area. So I got in my car and my windows are down. And all of a sudden I have a friend in here with me. Hey Chuck, what you doing? So Kevin went and got a truckload of aged cow manure from a rancher we know. And we're gonna be using that to put in my garden beds. Gonna release the chickens and then they can go scratch and peck around in the poop. Go ahead, hon. Come on, girls. Ladies. Ladies. Chickadoos. Oh, I got you. I got you, chickadoos. Got me a chicken. I got you. There's lots of good stuff to scratch and peck here. 